when we're done, it's going to look something like this. Let's do it. So right here, we got a blank Next.js project. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use stock tickers for this. You can use whatever you want. So go to chat GPT. I'll have this in the description if you want it, or the GitHub repo is also in the description. So I'm going to just copy this right here, come back to our project, and I'm going to paste this in. So now we have this array right here stocks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in this div, I'm going to create a UL and inside of this UL, I'm going to say braces and I'm going to say stocks.map and for each stock, we're going to return an LI, which is a list item. And then for now, we'll just make it say stock.ticker. And so now you can see we've got all of our stock tickers right here. So we're going to come to this UL, we're going to say class name, and we're going to say flex. And then we're also going to say a gap of 10. We can also come up to this div right here and say class name and say overflow hidden. Also for this UL, I'm going to say a BG of black and a text of white. And then we can also say a PY of four. So now we can come into this LI and we can wrap this stock dot ticker in a P tag. And then we can paste this down three times and we'll have stock dot ticker stock dot price stock dot price change and stock dot percent change. And for this LI, we can say class name and we can say flex and we can say a gap of two. And then for this stock price, we can put a dollar sign right here. And then also what I'm going to do is this entire thing that we're returning in this map, I'm going to wrap this in braces and then I'm going to click enter and I'm going to say return. And so now I'm going to say const price increase equals stock price change greater than zero. And so now what we can do, we can come into these P tags for the price change and percent change. We can create a class name. We're going to have braces back ticks and then we're going to say dollar sign braces price increase question mark and then we're going to say quotes text green 500 otherwise so write a colon and then another quote and say text red 500 and so now if it's positive it's going to be green if it's negative it's going to be red so now we want to add this animation so we're going to come up to this ul right here and we're going to say animate and we'll call this infinite scroll. And this is not going to do anything. So what we have to do is come into our Tailwind config file. And we have to add a couple of things. So you're going to want to go to the keyframes, which is in config, theme, extend, keyframes. And so now we're going to name this what we just named it right there. We're going to say quotes infinite dash scroll. And then we're going to do some braces. And we're going to say... 0% translate x 0 at 100% we're going to say transform translate x and then instead of this minus 100% we're going to say calc and we're going to say minus 50% and then we're going to say minus 20px and so this 20% right here comes from we have this gap 10 which is of 40 pixels and so the way i do this is just to be safe, I say brackets and I say dot, dot, dot stocks. And then I say comma dot, dot, dot stocks. So now the list just simply repeats itself. So in case you only have like three or four items, this is safer. And so because we do it like this in this keyframe, we only do 50%. And so we do translate X 50% and then minus the 20 pixels to take into account the gap that we have. And so now what we do, we have keyframes right here. We come down to animation and we can call this the same thing. We can call this infinite scroll and we're going to say infinite scroll, which is this right here, the name of this keyframe. And then we say, however many seconds, we'll say linear infinite. And so now you can see that this is starting to do something. And I'm going to change this to 20 seconds. So now we come back to this page. And what we want to do is in this div, we want to say BG black. And then we, if we want, we can come out of this BG black in the UL and remove that. And so to make sure that this thing is working perfectly, we're going to come down to this 20 seconds. And instead of 20 seconds, we're going to say five seconds and we'll see. So you see it has this little glitch right here, which we do not want. 
So in order to get this to work, we have to come up here to the top div and make this flex. And now it's gonna go much faster. So we can come into this Tailwind config and instead of five seconds, I'm gonna make this 40 seconds. And now this thing is bang on. Also what we can do, we can come right here and we can add a triangle from Lucid React. To add Lucid React to your project, just say npm i lucid dash react and then it will add the icon library so with this triangle we can say fill equals white and then we can give it a class name we're going to give it braces back ticks we'll say a size of three and then we'll also say dollar sign braces not price increase double ampersand and we'll say rotate 180 and so now if it's red it's going to point down if it's green it's going to point up we can also come to this li right here and say item center also i'm going to come to these p tags and i'm going to give them a class name and i'm going to say text gray 300 so there it is if you learned something subscribe you want to learn some more watch this video right here see you next time